Madhuri, you've achieved so much. Uh, you know, we talk about 40 years in the art world. We talk about 100 plus shows. What is the next step? Where do you go from here? Yeah, 40 years, yes. I would love to be 60 years in the art world because that <laughs> is, sure I think, I would be. know my bearings a little better by then, I think. You just, you know, it's you still, at every stage, you feel, no, there's so much more I want to know, I want to do. Today on the show, we have with us a pioneer from the field of art and design. She's a national award winner who has also been recognized by the Women's Economic Forum. With over 100 shows in India and abroad, and over four decades in the art industry, welcome to the founder and CEO of Art Forever, Madhuri Badhuri. Thank you so much. Madhuri, uh, you've been in the art world for over four decades now, 100 plus shows. What are some of the values that have kept you going through all of these years? One thing I have learned is that one has to keep going at what your passion is, which started uh, way back. And uh, if you are honest and true to your work and you enjoy the process, which I think is more important than the result, then your journey can be really quite interesting and full of surprises, I think. But I'm sure it wasn't that easy when you started out. It's yeah. good to reflect back after all of these years, but when you started out, there must have been a lot of, uh, apart from passion, a lot of yeah, hard work? I won't say, it, yeah, it's a lot of hard work of course, I mean, uh, I wouldn't say that uh, it was choppy, purely on the insistence of a few of my friends who said that, no, you have to, you know, go and have a show, and uh, I said, well, fine, and then after I had a show, I had like these, some 60 paintings on display, mm -hmm. my first show, and 45 of those were sold on the first three days itself, That's and amazing. I said, wow, and everybody came and said that, wow, we didn't know you paint as well, so, uh, it was more of, uh, you know, I mean, I think the kind of appreciation I got, which made it easier for me to take it more seriously as a profession. Okay. Because till then, the monetary aspect never came into, you know, it was just about, you know, somebody gave me 200 rupees, somebody said 500, and they would say, why don't you paint this for us, somebody's birthday. And I was, I used to happily do that. I mean, right from school, I've been doing things because that, I think that was something very inherent in my thing which I had to, uh, this whole thing of colouring, drawing, painting, aesthetics was always a part of my, what you say, your inside calling, you know. Absolutely. And uh, because of badminton, I didn't have too much time to give, you know, in college. And speaking of badminton and squash, you played both of them at the national level. Yeah, yeah, I was um, fortunate did, to do that. Yeah. Was was there a lot of uh, sports that, that came out into your, your uh, occupation and yes, your passion as well? Yeah, I think it's because, uh, you know, the two uh, similarities which I think with sport and art is, okay. they're both a singular, I mean, you got, it's a lone profession. Very true. So, what happens is that, that kind of uh, actually analyzes the person you are, the strengths you have from within or wherever you, what, what you really are is what comes on the court alone. The ability to take a loss or rejection as well. Yes, and it, it's also like uh, when you practice and you play, you don't know the result. True. So similarly in art, you start a painting, you start the artwork, it's only you start assessing it once the work is done. Absolutely. And, and, and Madhuri, you come across as a very strong, confident uh, lady. Uh, your life has seen a lot of ups and downs. I'm sure it wasn't always smooth sailing. What would you say was the turning point in, in, in your life? The turning point was when I dropped my competitive badminton and took to art, I think, which was okay. the positive part of it. Got it. And uh, the first time I realized that uh, you know, and the times we started, I remember my dad telling me that, what are you going to paint and do? But uh, my mum, who was a classical singer, she was a great singer on All India Radio. So mm -hmm. she, she said, no, no, it will keep her out of trouble and let her do what she wants to do. So <laughs> Does I that was, mean you were getting into trouble? Uh, not really, but I was into multiple, I mean, activities all the time. I did French, I did housekeeping, I did baking, I did, I did a whole lot of things. Okay. I did economics in college. So, uh, you know, actually it takes a little while for anyone to focus on to knowing what you really want to do. Absolutely. And there's nothing wrong with that, yes. right? Exploring no, different no, things no. till yeah. you find what you're really yeah, passionate about. And if you about. find it, then you go for it. Like then, uh, yeah, I think a lot before I do anything, but if I do, then it's all, I mean, I'm all there. Absolutely. And I think uh, work is the most important thing, which, which is really yourself. Call and like they work, say, do it, it with, do it with passion or don't do it at yeah, all. Yeah, don't do it at all. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do anything if I, if it wasn't full of 
uh, full of uh, passion, full of energy, I would, I wouldn't even bother doing it. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, Madhuri, we have a lot of uh, budding artists that are out there, especially in India, um, that are uh, finding it difficult to straddle the the passion of the art as well as the commercial aspect of art. And in India, unfortunately, it is still a very unregulated industry. Yeah. What uh, what advice or what suggestions uh, would you like to give to them, since somebody is just about coming up? Yeah, see, actually, I feel that it is not as difficult now as it was when we started because there was no money in art. So when you painted, it was just for the pure passion. True. In fact, today you have thing you have multiple avenues where you can actually experiment, explore, and the younger generation is far more smarter than we were. I think even technology helps. So. I don't think, uh, in fact, the exposure is far more now, I think. So, you just have to go for it. If you feel that's that inner fire in you, you have to go for it. And without a fire, nothing burns. So. And, and, and how do you uh, figure out the commercial aspect of it? I mean, how do you put a price on something that you've created from scratch? For me, personally, I started with like a, just like a basic 500 rupees and everything was within a certain uh, very minimum uh, kind of thing when I started but that also, I guess, at that time was a lot. And when somebody really picked up works and paid money, Correct. I said, wow, you know, like, uh, you know, <laughs> did it cost that much? Like, there was this large painting. I remember the largest one was like four and a half thousand. Okay. And it was like a six by four feet. Wow. Uh, big painting. And it was uh, bought by one of the corporates here. And when they bought it, I said, wow, you know, I don't believe this. And for a good many years, it just stayed on. But every time I realized that I was selling out everything I made. When I got married, I was in Bombay, Delhi, Calcutta. So okay. I, for almost 10 years, I was traveling. And I was fortunate because I got in touch with all the major art galleries. So when I started exhibiting with them, that is when the commercial value of art, they started pricing it. Okay. And that's the first time like something was priced at 40,000 and 60,000 and I was saying oh, really wow I don't know. <laughs> is anybody yeah, actually going to buy I don't know. I really it? don't know. I still feel that today that price is such in art is very relative. It's a very different uh, it's it, it has got great value when it's sold and as a piece by itself its intrinsic value is not that it's very difficult to actually assess that. If you think of the selling part of art when you're making it it doesn't work. Okay. I so, mean, you're like not you being, said, be hundred percent in the yes, moment. Yes. Yes. And that whole concentration of the mind has to be on the work. Not Correct. even a little bit has to deviate. The moment you start deviating and thinking of money, you're you're actually not being true to what you're doing. And this is where it all helps. And Ma Madhuri, speaking of distractions, especially nowadays, distractions are everywhere. Too many. I I hear a lot of stories, unfortunately, of women professionally not supporting other women. What have your experiences been uh, in that scenario? See, that I would say it's the competitive part is everywhere. I okay. mean, like men to men, women to women, women to men. I mean, it's there Correct. everywhere. In my very early years, when I was my first show in Bombay, and uh, there was, I had a recommendation from a corporate head. You know, that little intimidation that it's coming from a reference doesn't work, I think. And it made me feel uh, very, very little and very small. And I was very unhappy that day. And that's why I realized that, you know, sometimes, uh, a recommendation can work against you. True. The easier way out is that you don't really uh, get too much involved beyond your work with anybody for that matter, okay. especially if it's in the same fraternity. In today's world, it's not really possible that, you know, you don't have too many. You have a lot of your own friends and family to support you, but I d really don't expect anyone to, uh, uh, you know, sort of support you or be there. I mean, you have to do your own job, right? Like everyone Very is true. doing, you have to. So you're not looking externally for motivation I or, uh, you know, or to, to support you in your success. See, I'm a very positive person. Somebody who says, wow, it's really great. <laughs> I just hold on to that and say, yes, it's great. So it gives me the motivation to do something more. Absolutely. And if somebody, I feel bad, of course, I'm emotional and artists are overly emotional, but I, I think it's the way I have adapted myself where I concentrate Correct. more on what is good about it than what is bad about it. I think that's an amazing <laughs> attitude to have towards life. Uh, despite the positive attitude, I'm sure that there have been situations where you there has been self-doubt, uh, where you know they talk about the imposter syndrome, that am I good enough or am I talented always. enough? Always. How do you, do you still have those moments? Yes, always. Because uh, self-analysis, self-criticism is something that uh, we all do, I think. Correct. And, uh, women more so than men, I women think. Women more so. And I have been brought up in a very uh, basic uh, uh, Maharashtrian family with values and, you know, where you don't talk about yourself. You always, uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and when you're playing a game, you know, there's always somebody better than you. Today, you uh, 
uh, win, tomorrow you may lose. So, this kind of thing is always playing in your mind. So, you, you stay grounded, the advantage is you, you do stay grounded. So, if you can take the little appreciation, motivation that people around you give you, your collectors give you, you feel good about it, it motivates you to do more. Correct. You have your introspective doubts every day. I think it's more about you and yourself and your self analysis. It's enough. You don't need to make big things and uh, you know. So do what you can essentially with, yeah. with whatever you have. And little by little it all comes together. Thank you Madhuri. Madhuri you achieved so much. Uh, you know we talk about 40 years in the art world. We talk about 100 plus shows. What is the next step? Where do you go from here? Yeah, 40 years, yes. I would love to be 60 years in the art world because that <laughs> is, sure I think, I would be. know my bearings a little better by then, I think. You just, you know, it's you still, at every stage you feel, no, there's so much more I want to know, I want to do. Correct. Now, I'm a very curious person about everything. Like, I like, you know, whether it is uh, to do with, uh, you know, the art part, which is uh, uh, the painting part, as well as the way the art world moves, the Correct. way it works. You've done a, a course with Sadhavi's uh, recently? Yes, I did. I did last year. I did a course in finance in the art market. That's that amazing. was when uh, I had to dish out my uh, mark sheet to prove to them that I am a finance student because <laughs> they were a little curious to know why do you want to do it. True. But, uh, you know, actually I have, I have realized today uh, that I have been playing the part of a gallerist as well as an artist you know, in trying to get your work across to people. So, I know almost a lot about uh, the painting, the, the art piece from making it, sending it, couriering it, packing it, actually painting to wow. marketing it. And, and you're looking to travel further and I think you're going to the US yes, uh, probably in the next yes. couple of months to tie up with an international Yes, uh, I have come to the, you know, I feel that uh, to say that you're a internationally global artist, you need to not just send your works there, you mm -hmm. need to show more extensively, you have to create a good enough following for yourself Correct. and sh be able to put your work across to them. So, I think that uh, my next few years, which I want to put into is trying to have some really good tie-ups okay. with, uh, because the West is more evolved in art. It's True. more structured. It's more, uh, you know, it, the it's more stronger in terms of uh, actual accepting art as an art piece rather than just a painting or just a, you know decorative Absolutely. piece. Yeah, you just have to set targets for yourself, you know. So that is my next target. Yeah. So Madhuri, we are going to be uh, you know winding down the chat, but I wanted to end on a high. So we have a, a special segment called a rapid fire round, oh. where it essentially <laughs> it'll be just one word answers. Okay. Okay. I hope I can restrict it to one word. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Okay. What would you say your biggest weakness is? I'm. Uh, I have. I'm in two minds. Okay. Indecisive. Indecisive. Okay. Who is uh, your favorite artist? Vincent Van Gogh. Very nice. Uh, when you're not painting, you're usually found doing what? Workouts. Wow. <laughs> two things you can't live without. Work and workout. <laughs> Who is your celebrity crush? That's a difficult one. <laughs> uh, we'll come to it later. Okay. I'm not going to let you go without go answering without that. Go without that, right? Okay. Uh, what would you say your dream vacation is? Where would you With like to go? With good company. Okay. So it doesn't matter the location as long as Place you have great company. Matter. And lastly, maybe the second last question, how do you want to be remembered? When people talk about you, let's say 50 years from now, how do you want them to talk about a you? A happy, good person. Okay. And your celebrity crush? Uh, at the moment, Shah Rukh Khan. Okay. <laughs> I think you and the rest of India is, is definitely Everybody. on the same page with that. And I th think that you have a special surprise for us. You bought a certain painting yes. along with you. Yes. Uh, would you like to talk to yes. uh, the audience a little bit about that? Now, I'm going to show a very special, uh, I wouldn't say special, it's for the audience to really decide how special it is. Okay. So, we will show them a painting okay. which I have selected and they are supposed to give their interpretation of what they think it okay. is because everyone, I think an abstract painting and nature being so vast, they, they can give their own interpretation. Absolutely. And let's see how creative they can make it and then we can give them something really special for that. Let's Great. See. Thank you so much for that special thank gesture. You. And uh, it's been a pleasure having you on the show, Madhuri. Pleasure is all mine. And thank, thank you, you so much. much. We wish you continued success and happiness always. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Pleasure. Thank you.